We might not have jetpacks, hoverboards, or lightsabers, but we sure are living in the future when it comes to one thing, smoking. These days, you just can't seem to move without bumping into someone puffing away on something that looks pretty much like a sonic screwdriver, an e-cigarette. There's even an electric smoking cafe in Shoreditch. Very hipster. Now, for those of you who haven't seen these excuses to puff at people while being inside and apparently not breaking the law, an e-cigarette, also known as an electronic cigarette or personal vaporizer, is a battery-powered delivery system. It brings you nicotine without doing anything as old-fashioned as setting a tobacco plant on fire. But when were these things invented? How do they work? And are they dangerous? First up, their conception and birth. In 2003, a man called Hon Lick patented the e-cigarette. His father had died of lung cancer and Han was trying to quit his 30-year habit. He wanted a device that would feel more like smoking than the nicotine patches he hated. In 2005, there was only one manufacturer in China. But by 2014, e-cigarettes had become a 1.8 billion pound global business with 466 brands and 2.1 million people having tried them across Britain. Hon, sadly, received only a fraction of the money from his patent sale. So consider this a warning, inventors. Business can be brutal. But he did succeed in his mission. Unlike a nicotine patch or gum, fans say using an e-cigarette feels like smoking. Just what's going on inside one of those little gizmos? Well, it's all a load of hot air or hot vapour, to be precise. The devices heat the e-liquid that you load your cigarette with, turning it into an aerosol. Right, when you turn the cigarette on or breathe in, an electric coil heats a reservoir of e-liquid. This is usually propylene glycol mixed with nicotine and flavours. Now, propylene glycol pops up all over the place. It's in medicines, makeup, food, to absorb extra water. It's also used in smoke machines. Theatrical. So, the vapour is heated. You breathe it in and you get that nicotine hit. E-cigarettes also contain the battery that heats the coil and a little microprocessor that controls the heat and light. Time for the big question then. Are they dangerous? Well, in 2013, America saw 365 people sent to hospital after accidents with e-liquid, including a two-year-old girl who drank her parents' supply, and a woman who spilled hers in bed, then absorbed it through her skin. So certainly the liquid itself can be dangerous if you're not careful with it. But what about people who don't spill or drink the stuff? Well, some high-powered cigarettes, the ones with tank systems that look so much like sonic screwdrivers, can get so hot, they start producing formaldehyde. Yep, that's the stuff they use to preserve bodies, and yes, it can give you cancer. We think most e-cigs don't create formaldehyde, but really, we know very little about them. Many of the flavourings used are in the aldehyde family. They're safe for eating, but they can irritate your lungs. Some badly manufactured e-cigarette devices have even been reported to contain antifreeze. In 2014, the World Health Organization called for a ban on e-cig use in public places and workplaces, worried about the potential effect on health and their child-friendly fruit and sweetie flavours. And a 2015 study, although only looking at mice, found that e-cigarette vapour could make lungs more susceptible to infections. They also found traces of free radical toxins, although at 1% the level found in real cigarettes. The manufacturers did argue, though, that mice were exposed to doses meant for humans, but I'd imagine their lungs are pretty tiny, so they must have breathed in a mouse-sized amount. So, they're not the world's safest thing. But what if you're using one instead of smoking a cigarette? Well, smoking is much, much worse. Here in the UK, five million people are expected to die prematurely because of smoking. If you're using an e-cigarette instead, then congratulations, you're making a much healthier choice. Nicotine on its own isn't going to give you cancer or provide tar, nitrosamines, acetone, acetylene, DDT, lead, radioactive polonium, hydrogen cyanide, methanol, arsenic, cadmium or carbon monoxide. Those are all the things you get from cigarette smoke. And although nicotine is still a dangerous substance, two randomised controlled trials have suggested that e-cigarettes can even help smokers quit entirely or cut back on how often they smoke. But want to know something? Only a fraction of people in those studies managed to quit smoking with or without e-cigarette help. So the message is simple, really. Rather than replace your cigarette with an e-cigarette, it's so much easier not to start smoking in the first place. 
That way you might just live long enough to finally get your hands on that jetpack. <sighs> Alcohol. In the immortal words of Homer Simpson, it is both the cause of and the solution to all of life's problems. But what is actually happening as you get drunk? 